War Diary Day 514 of Russia's war against Ukraine. Two things have happened, uh, first of which uh, President Zelensky in Ukraine has asked for the UN to create a, a shipping corridor to protect Ukrainian um, ships sending grain to Africa and the Middle East. We've got to support them on this. It's a good thing to do. If we don't do this, then people in Africa and the Middle East will starve entirely unnecessarily. And this will stoke um, a fresh wave of migration, of, of panic, of, of, of people who are starving and leaving. Remember, my name is Sweeney, and um, I have never bothered to do the ancestry check, but I am bloody sure that um, some of my, my forefathers, who are Irish, suffered terribly because of the potato famine. And I have sympathy for anybody who has to leave their country because they are going hungry. I get that. And I get it that Vladimir Putin doesn't give a damn about that. And I get it that he actually is an ally of the far right because everything he says and believes in is fascistic. Fascistic. So the UN should get a grip and they should stick it and they should create, stick it to the Kremlin and create a shipping corridor which means that ships can move from uh, ports like Odessa through the Black Sea into the Mediterranean without getting killed, without getting blown up, etc, etc. Secondly, um, yesterday the um, Kremlin arrested uh, Gherkin. He's a Russian fascist who was the man who is principally responsible for the murder of 298 people in MH17. The fool uh, stayed in Russia. Had he gone to The Hague, he would have got a nice um, prison cell because he's ended up in, um, in Russia. He's been arrested. What's interesting about this is that Putin is now locking up people who used to back him. Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.